Hi, Tom from bkmnutrition.com and in this video I want to talk about why it is not selfish to prioritize your own gym training over all the other things in your life. Now, this might seem as though I'm coming from a uh, oh, the gym's the only thing that matters perspective and I can guarantee and I can assure you that is not how I view uh, my gym training. I used to view it that way when I was bodybuilding and I was competing because that was a massive part of my life and that was something that was incredibly important to me and I needed to be, I needed to have the mindset of an athlete in order to uh, do the best I possibly could. Now, that's not where, where I'm coming from. What I'm coming from here is what I've noticed when working with um, my clients, which are predominantly men over 30s who have like a family and they own their own business. So they've got a lot going on in their lives. And, um, you know, I also work with women who have got a lot going on in their lives and uh, and are busy and they're in business and have kids as well. But generally, um, it, it is men in my one-to-one -one programs. Now, those guys want to be the best dads they possibly can. They want to be the best businessmen they possibly can. You know, earning money, providing money for their families and and uh, and so they can live, uh, give their kids everything they want. And because of this mentality, they are not selfish people. They are not people who who think, well, I'm not going to do whatever I want to do, and you know, you know, screw everyone else because that's not important. They're not that mindset. Their mindset is, I want to do the absolute best I possibly can for my family and and my business and to grow my business. The problem is, is that because they have that mentality, they then deprioritize their own health, their own fitness, their own well-being, and their own. Uh, their own good mood, I suppose. Now, this might seem a little bit silly when you look outside of it and think, well, why would they do that? Why would they make themselves unhealthy? Why would they make themselves um, unfit? The, the reason this happens is because they have work commitments, which then eat into their gym time, and they have family commitments, which obviously then eat into their gym time at all. And the reason why this happens, the reason why they can't get to the gym, because these guys all like training, that none of them are like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym, so I'll find something else to do. Um, these are all people that like training, they like being in shape, they like building muscle, they want to look like they train, they want to have a nice flat stomach, they want to get on the beach and be happy walking around with their top off. You know, they want to feel good in clothes. All these things are the things they want to do, but, they put things in place that stop that happening. And that's because of their unselfish commitments to their family and their business. And this is, this is quite easy to solve. Um, and now you might, be, you might be sit there thinking, well, you know, I, I am my business, you know, I'm busy. There is no time in the day for me to do anything. I guarantee there is time in the day for you to go and exercise. And the reason I can say this is because I've worked with, it's over a hundred um, businessmen who are very successful, who have good businesses, good families. You know, I've worked with all those people who all said, I have a really busy schedule. I can't possibly train three to four times a week for an hour and a bit. They've all worked with me. They've all then managed to change their lifestyle to do that. And they feel a lot happier because of it. And here's the, the simple thing that we do in order to, in order to facilitate that. You waiting for some diet hack or some or some uh, some magical formula? No, it's not. The simple thing you need to do is to add your gym workouts to your diary as a non-negotiable appointment, and we treat that appointment like an appointment with your bank manager, like someone you absolutely do not want to not have that have that appointment with because it is so important. Imagine it's a, imagine it's an appointment with your kid's head teacher, you know, your kid's teacher, your your parents' evening at school, those sorts of things, you know, those things you don't want to you don't want to miss because they're vitally important, but important for other people. They're important for your business, or they're important for your son or your daughter, and they're also important for you as a as a family and businessman. But you know, it's not it's not the priority for you, uh, as in for your self development. So what we want to do is make an appointment for your self-development, which is your gym workout. Now, when, when I say this to people, they say, oh, that's fine, I'll put it in my diary. But what they then do is they put that in the diary and then they still treat it as a block that they can do something else in. So we've got to make sure that that thing, that appointment in the day is something which has adequate time. 
Now, one of the one of the main things you can do here is to uh, a lot of the guys I work with, a lot of the, the business owners I work with, they do their workouts first thing in the morning. The reason they do this is because when they get up first thing in the morning, what they're doing before they've even opened an email, before they've even done anything else related to their business, what they've done is they've gone to the gym gear and they've gone to the gym to train in the morning in order to make a vote for themselves first thing in the morning. Now, what this does it's uh it's it's almost it's almost kind of like casting the first stone if you if you start your day with a with a vote for your health and fitness then everything everything after that in the day is going to be either enhancing that or taking you a step backwards now there's always things in the day that are going to take you a step backwards you know and, you know there are things that are going to sort of hamper your day we all have those days but it's a lot easier to do positive things relating to your health and fitness if you've started the day doing positive things for your health and fitness. Now, obviously, if you've got a family, you might not be able to go to the gym first thing in the morning. Myself, I have to drop my son to school uh, three to twice a week. Um, and so I can't go first thing in the morning. But on the days that I don't have to drop him to school, I do go to the gym first thing in the morning. And that's the first thing I do is do a workout. I'm there for about an hour and a half. I do a bit of weights, a bit of cardio, and then and then I go home. And because I've done that, my whole day then is focused on my health and fitness because I've started that way. On the days that I drop my son to school, because by the time I get to the gym, it's about nine, ten o'clock, and that's normally when I'm coming into uh, my most productive time of the day for, for work, I don't like to go to the gym at that time. So what I do instead is I program myself a, an appointment around about 5.30 till 7 o'clock in the evening when I've finished all my work, I've had a productive day for my work, and then I go and unwind at the gym in the evening so both of those times are I would say probably the most popular times for business people entrepreneurs you know dads whatever to, uh, to to go to the gym but the important thing is you make that appointment you put it in your diary and it's not selfish to want to do that so I normally find that the best time for me is either in that morning or in the afternoon I don't generally tend to train about lunchtime because that puts a uh, a, a sort of a division in my day and I'm normally in my flow of work by the time I start my work is around about 10 o'clock in the morning 9 30 10 o'clock and I work through till around about three o'clock that's my most productive time of the day so it makes sense for me to train before that time or after that time so I don't normally train at lunchtime however this might be the most optimal time for you if you like a break in your workflow for the day so let's get on to um, the, the the being unselfish part of it now a lot of people say to me but um, oh, I need to I need to get home because I need to be there for my kids. I need to uh, give them their tea, whatever else, you know. I, I, and do you know what? I totally get that. When my schedule was different, when I was uh, working late, I would always come home to uh, put Jacob to bed and to read him a story. And I would go to the gym after that point. And and a lot of uh, people I work with say, oh, my partner moans at me because um, I can go into the gym. Now, well, I get that there's certain dynamics and relationships that uh, that mean uh, the other the other partners at home more with the kids. I, I really don't get the thing about partners moaning at each other because one of them is taking a more positive route to their health and fitness. If you think that through to the long term, let's say you don't go to the gym. Let's say you spend all the hours that you can that you're not in your business at home with the kids. You don't exercise. You don't eat very well. What's the long what's the long term situation there? Well, you're gonna get overweight. Because you're not exercising, there's more potential for heart complications, for obesity related issues, for high cholesterol related issues, high blood pressure related issues. You don't have much muscle, so you don't feel very strong, you don't feel very fit, uh, you lose your zest for life, your sex drive goes down because you're not exercising and you feel overweight and frumpy and and and, and generally rubbish. Is that the best situation? Is that the best? It, 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 does that really justify not going to the gym, not going, not exercising, not working out, not eating right? No, it doesn't. It's not. It's not a selfish thing to want to go to the gym or to go to exercise and to do that three to four times a week. I would say that the opposite is true: is that it is not a selfish thing to go to the gym and do all these things and improve your fitness and improve your health. You know, it's um. Think of all the benefits you're going to get from doing that. You're going to have a healthier heart. You're going to have lower blood pressure. You're going to have more muscle, more strength. So you're going to feel better. You're going to have more sex drive. You're going to feel better about yourself, feel more confident. You'll have that 
eventually anyway that flat stomach that you will feel proud of and feel easy to take your clothes off on the beach or at the swimming pool or wherever you want to go you will be able to wear the clothes that you want to wear to feel more confident and all these things are only going to have positive kickbacks into your family life into the life with your kids into your life with your business you know make you a more productive person because you're fitter and healthier and don't get out of breath going up the stairs or talking on the phone for half an hour all these things are positives which are going to benefit you and they're going to have a ripple effect that benefits all the people that you touch in a non-physical sense. So the message from this video is that it's not a selfish thing to be doing what could be perceived as selfish things and taking time for yourself and making sure that you get your three to four workouts in a week. In fact, if you're not doing that, I would say you're probably not doing the best thing for your family, for your business, for your long-term future. That's just my perspective on it though. Uh, you might have a different idea. Feel free to make a comment below and, and tell me uh, how wrong I am and how you should be working all the hours of the day and you should be spending all the hours of the day with your kids because you're a good, you're a good parent. You know, I'm happy, to, I'm happy to have a conversation about that. Um, that's just my thoughts. It's not the it's not the law. It's not the not the rules. It's just what I think, and certainly it's the how my clients think who I work with, and they have better lives as a result of balancing their time with their family, with their business, and having time for themselves to improve their health and fitness. Okay, thanks for listening. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, maybe you've got a rant you want to post underneath because telling me how wrong I am. Please do do that. Um, remember, if you want to uh, download any more of my free uh, tools to help you, you can go to my website, Beacon Nutrition, and then click on the services tab, or you can go to my Instagram and just click on my link in my bio there, and that will take you right to them. Loads of stuff there to help you with your uh, workouts, with your calories and macro calculations, and with tracking all those things, and some videos to help you get started on building your own perfect diet. As always, thanks for listening. Appreciate your time. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.